What is going on guys? My name is t Bretz, and today we are back with our first Black Ops 3 post-launch gameplay where I'm going to be showing you guys three of my best paint jobs that I've created in the game. So I hope you guys enjoy and we're going to jump right into it. Alright guys, the first paint job that I'm going to be showcasing is what I call Hazard and I actually put it on the MR6 for this clip here and it's an industrial metal style camo with uh, basically the hazard tapes, the black and yellow striped tape that you can see at the bottom. And yeah, it looks really good with Weaponize 115. You'll see that on screen right now. So I hope you guys really enjoy this camo. If you guys want to make it, basically you just take these ovals and lay them um, like side by side and then alternate the other way. And then also you take the uh, black overlay and then you do, or black underlay actually, and then you take the yellow strips to overlay it. It's really easy, very simple, but it looks really nice. All right, guys, for our second camo, I'm going to be showcasing my Iron Man camo, which I did on the CUDA. And actually, just a quick note before I continue with the video, the CUDA, I believe, is the best weapon to put these paint jobs on because it has a great surface area, but it doesn't compromise like, your ability to put on like a backdrop camo, like an actual camo um, behind your initial camo that you make in the paint shop, which is really good because then you can have two camos over lamp and make it look great. So let's get on with the Iron Man camo. Yes, it is after the superhero. It's got these nice yellow accents with the deep red overlay. I think it looks badass in game, and I really like this one. Our third camo today is called the Dynamo. I put it on the ICR-1, which is one of my favorite weapons in Black Ops 3 so far. You guys should be seeing a lot of gameplay on that pretty soon. Uh, it's, it's like a nice triangle type pattern with cyan pink and black. And it's really nice by itself. I couldn't really find another paint shop or paint job rather to put under it. That looks really nice, but I'm sure there is one from the uh, black market that I just haven't unlocked yet. So yeah, if you guys want to use this one, uh, it looks great. It's also really simple to create just because it's the nice triangle pattern and it takes very little effort, but I think it looks really cool. And for our last camo, I took the liberty of doing the Dew and Doritos Mountain Dew. Yes, it looks really cool, but unfortunately in game it does not look as cool just because the CUDA is kind of like a 3D texture on the side of the gun. It really distorts the words so you can't see them as well, but I think it looks pretty cool and it's pretty accurate in terms of the actual Mountain Dew logo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.